Hey guys! So today I'm going to be giving a video on 5 tips on how to love yourself. This video goes for both guys and girls because girls aren't the only ones with insecurities, guys have them too. So it's important to acknowledge both sides of the situation. So step number one, pamper yourself. Whether it's bath bombs, which I love to use, or face masks, or buying yourself a new perfume or cologne, nose strips. Um, there's so many things out there that can really help like pamper yourself. I would highly recommend for like the face masks, the bath bombs, that kind of stuff, um, skin related stuff, I would go to Lush Cosmetics. They have them at most malls. Um, they have an online website. I highly recommend their products because I myself have used them and they're amazing. Step number two. Don't focus on how you look on camera because I think we've all been there when you look in the mirror and you're like, I look really good today. And then you take pictures or people take pictures of you and you're just like, I thought I looked good, you know? Like it's just cameras just take, mm, cameras just capture one tiny second. They don't capture the way you move, the way you talk, the way you breathe. That sounds a little creepy, that's not what I meant, but <laughs> they don't capture the beauty of you, like your physicality, they don't capture that. They just capture a single second in your life. Step number three is one that I am known to struggle with. I think people, I think a few people who are really close to me know that I'm bad at this and it's learn to take compliments. Um, if someone's like, hey, you're really cute, hey, you're really pretty, don't just be like, are you sure? Like, you know, don't question that kind of stuff. Because if somebody, well, somebody wouldn't say it if they didn't actually see it. And I know you guys might be thinking like, oh, they're just trying to be nice. They're trying not to hurt my feelings. But no, and people are being genuine and you need to learn to like, just say, thank you. I really appreciate it. Stuff like that. <laughs> the funny thing I do is when people give me compliments, um, I tend to just smile people will be like oh my god you're so pretty and I'm just like awkwardly but yeah it's very important for you to just learn to accept what people are telling you and don't accept the bad so if someone's like you're really ugly like no that you do not accept that you push very far away because that's coming from a negative place and most things that come from negative places are not true and are false so compliments come from a positive place therefore they are most like no they are they are true because everybody's beautiful and everybody's good looking and everybody's awesome in their own way <laughs> step four is a more unique idea um as you can see i have my mirror covered with post-its and each of those post-its has a positivity message on it so an example would be my one of them says you're a badass because I don't know I just like being a badass um, other ones would be like you're gorgeous um, the world is your oyster little cliche but I mean you put whatever you want on them this is something I highly recommend because what I think is just some people don't like looking in the mirror and that's totally understandable especially if you're insecure and you just don't have a lot of um, self-esteem sometimes you don't like looking in the mirror because it just brings you down so the th reason for the post-its would be you cover your your entire mirror with post-its like your whole mirror and after your mirror is covered with positivity quotes and things like that you just wake up each day and that's what you see you see the post-its because the post-its are your daily reminders of like they're little daily mantras daily compliments that you'll be receiving from yourself and that's what's really important and what I've started doing is that I've gained a little bit more self-confidence over the years because um, I started this whole mirror thing a really long time ago. Um, I think when I was like 13 and now I'm not 13. Um, so yeah, um, you continue, you put the post-its on your mirror and the more that you your confidence is boosted little by little, you can start taking some off. And by the time you have reached like full self-confidence, you'll be able to look at that mirror and be proud of what you see. And that's the end goal here, for you to be proud, to look in the mirror and be like, that's me and I love that, you know? That's the whole point of that project, that thing. 
So the last one, number five, would be something that you guys may not believe and it does sound very cliche once again, but understand that you yourself are special in every way. Nobody talks like you. Nobody walks like you. No one has the same fingerprint as you, which expresses so much individuality. That that shows how special you are. That no one has the same fingerprint. That's just a little like metaphor for the fact that no one is like you, you know? Um yeah, just no one's similar to you unless you have a twin. But then see twins look like each other, but they don't have the same personalities. They're still um separated in, in their own special ways, you know? Yeah, so no one is average at all. Like, there's no average person out there. I feel like each person has something to co to contribute to other people's lives. Um, I, that's personally what I believe. I believe you have something to contribute to the world and you have something to contribute to other people. And I believe everybody makes an impact on somebody. Whether it's on a child, on a parent, on a loved one, on someone special you meet, you impact someone's life in a really big way. Everywhere you go, you make an impact. And that's what's important. And you need to know that you're special and that God loves you. Although some may not believe in God, which is totally understandable. It's just my belief, you know? It's just me. But there are people sur that surround you that love you and you have a great support system, even though you may not think so. So just surround yourself by love and happiness and confidence and yeah. I hope these tips helped. Um, I'm not, well, I try to be good with advice. Um, sometimes I may not be the best at it because I get really nervous and especially the fact that I'm on camera so I get even more nervous. But I really hope it helped and I really hope that whoever sees this takes this to heart and understands, you know, what I'm saying. Um, so yeah. I hope you all have a great day and please trust these tips. Trust me, they will come in handy. And a little extra one that most people actually do have this, keep a diary. Write things down, write down your emotions, write down how you're feeling. It, express, it takes away a lot of anxiety and that's really helpful. To self-confidence, I have to burp. Okay, I, it went away, um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I have you guys have, I hope you guys have an amazing day.